guys, it's Sunshine. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, what's up? I'm Ray. Thank you so much for watching. So today I'm doing a first impressions demo slash review on the new Wet n Wild collection, Flights of Fancy. So if you'd like to see that, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first, I'm going to prime my face with the Wet n Wild Primer Water Spray. People are saying that this compares to the Smashbox Primer Water. I've never tried that, so I really can't, you know, decipher that. But it is supposed to be really good, and we're going to try it out. <laughs> so the spray's a little weird. It kind of gets everywhere, like it got all over my arms and stuff. So that's a little frustrating. It does have like a little bit of a smell. If you're sensitive to smells, you might not like this. But overall, it's a very fine mist. It's just kind of a mist that goes everywhere. So <laughs> I don't know if it works because it's a first impressions, but I... We'll definitely continue to use this and then let you guys know and give you an update on it. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in Nude Ivory. I've talked about this foundation a little bit on my channel before. I really like it. I use this one and Porcelain. This one matches me a little bit better in the summer. But I can kind of get away with both of them at both times. Because I really don't get much darker in the summer unfortunately. If I'm in the sun, I usually burn, and then I peel, and then I'm back to white, so I really am one color most of the year. <laughs> I'm really not getting much out of this at all, so hopefully I have enough just to... Do this video that I'm gonna have to get another one and I'm just gonna use my real technique sponge I used this yesterday for the first time and I actually really like it it's a little stiffer than the beauty blender that I'm used to but I'm definitely not gonna be full coverage today I should have checked that I had enough of this foundation. There we go. I don't know if you can see that. Now we're talking. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. I meant to pick up the Photo Focus one, but I forgot, so sorry guys. Um, I don't know why I just highlighted my entire forehead. So... <laughs> After I film this, I have to go clean my makeup brushes. I've been slacking on that. Why won't those spots conceal? My face has been so good lately, and then these just pop up and ruin my whole look and mood and vibe. Now my nose is looking a little, a little weird. Okay, now I'm just going to take the Photo Focus Pressed Powder by Wet n Wild. I'm 
to bronze, I'm going to take the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. I don't want too much bronzer. A little too late for that, I think. So now I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Color Icon Baked Blush from the Flights of Fancy Collection in the shade Hummingbird Hype. And it's this really pretty, like, peachy. And it just looks like this. And I don't know if you can see, but do you see the hummingbird? like engraved in there. How cool is that? So they did this whole collection based off of the raising money for the um, LA Audubon Society to save the endangered hummingbird. So that's why everything is like hummingbird themed. If you guys didn't know that. Oh, wow. You see that sheen? I've never used a baked blush before, so... Oh, that's so cool. It's like a blush and highlight in one. It has such a nice sheen to it. I feel like I totally could have skipped the bronzer and just used that because it's like a nice like it's almost like a peachy bronze on my skin tone so I think I could have skipped the bronzer because now I think I, I went a little overboard but <laughs> anyways first impressions I really like this I really like the whole baked blush thing I love that wet and wild came out with baked blushes instead of um, highlighters again I mean I love highlights I love a highlighter but I think it's really cool that they did something different and came out with baked blushes for this collection so yeah I really like this and I definitely definitely recommend you checking out these baked blushes because so far so good and I really like them and I feel like they're perfect for just like the spring and summer so I love that So normally I would put like a highlight on, but I feel like I don't need one because of that big blush. So it's kind of like a two-in-one situation for that. So another thing I picked up from the collection is the Stop Ruffling My Feathers eyeshadow palette. Very like peachy tones. This whole video is very peachy because I got the You Are My Wingman liner and I swatched this yesterday and it's not pink it's more of like a peach so so it all kind of matches honestly <laughs> I have the peachy blush the peachy liner the peachy um like eyeshadow and then the peachy gloss and I'm wearing peach so perfect okay so I guess we're just gonna follow this, um, what it says on here, because there's transition shade, brow bond highlight, a crease shade, and an eyelid color, and it, it tells you kind of how to use them, so I guess that's what I'll do. take this in the crease because that's what it says to use it for this isn't really a mat though so all 
normally I would not put like that metallic color in a crease, but blended out nicely. Just to make sure I'm all blended, I'm just gonna go back in with that first transition shade. So now I'm just going to pack this on my lid. Yeah, I'm going to use my finger for that. Just because I know I can build that up. This one's definitely a drier shadow. I'm going to spray it with a little bit of this primer water spray and take it on a brush. Okay, that's better. I thought this eye, uh, this lid shadow like pink duochrome would be more intense. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with just whatever shadow is left on this. On the bright side, I'm not getting any fallout with this. At all. So I have this Peachy You Are My Wingman eyeliner and I looked for a picture or a video of someone using this everywhere, like all over Google, all over YouTube, and I couldn't find a single one. So I thought, you know, for the people who are looking for one, <laughs> that I would try it out just because it looked interesting. Like I have never seen a Peachy pink eyeliner before so I bought it <laughs> but the problem is I have to use a brush with it because I'm very new at winged liners so I think I'm gonna go do that off of camera as well as my brows and I will be right back so the last product that I picked up from this collection was the color icon lip gloss and I got the peachy one <laughs> I don't know if you guys could tell but I love peach And I heard that you can build these up so that they're opaque. Absolutely love the packaging on this cap. Look at it. How pretty. I heard you can build these up so they're opaque or kind of wear them sheer. So I'm going to try to build it up. So weird I've never been a, a gloss girl like for the longest time <laughs> like when I was younger I remember I'm sorry I just remember something when I was younger and I used to wear gloss I would walk around like this because I didn't like I didn't like the feeling of my lips touching when I was wearing the gloss really evolved I feel like this would look really pretty underneath like a nude lipstick, but I really like it on its own as well. I think it looks really nice. I am so peachy today. I absolutely love it. I feel like spring and summer vibes. I am obsessed. And I love this look. I love how it came out. Look, if you can see the wing, I'm just going to zoom in so you guys can see it. I try my best. They're probably not exact. But I try my best. Isn't that a cool color though? This like peachy. And it just goes with the whole look. So. I'm so feeling this look. 
honestly guys I recommend this entire collection from the eyeshadow the lip gloss the eyeliner and the baked blush the only thing I'm a little iffy about is the primer water spray sunshine thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what you want to see next for me don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already before you leave to follow me on my youtube journey and hit that little bell notification to be notified every time i upload and i will see you all in my next video bye guys